Hello everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. I have something very special. So to start off, I have been getting some requests on sharing my updated fountain pen collection. And I think it is about time that I do that. This is part of that. And I'm still trying to figure out in my head the best way to share everything with you without the video being too long. So I think what I'm going to do is first start off with this unboxing, sharing what I'm currently using with my fountain pen storage. And then in the next video, we'll go into possibly showing you how I'm going to put everything together so that it's a little bit easier and more manageable for me. So to get started, this thing is from Galen. No, 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 no. <laughs> this thing is from Goulet Pens. And of course I get my Tootsie Roll. Um, so this is actually a really cute box. Um, this is my very first larger Galen Leather item. I was trying to decide if I wanted to order from Galen Leather or Goulet Pens. And I landed on Goulet Pens because they actually had the color I wanted in stock. And Galen Leather, Leather did not. So, um, but I would have first chosen Galen Leather uh, because I would have preferred to buy, to like order a few more things from them, but I will wait and put those on hold. So without further ado, oh, that was a teaser. This is a nice large bag. And wow, this is beautiful. Um, oh, there's a little bit of, wow, there's a lot of marks on this particular piece. And I love how this box is really big and deep. So I can use it for like a lot of storage. Um, options, which is great. I can actually put my other Galen leather box containers in here, even better. And plus it has a beautiful design. And so I could even store it upright somewhere in my, wherever I store my boxes, which is actually in the closet. So this is in the Crazy Horse Brown. And this is beautiful, very beautiful leather. Off the bat, I will share with you another one of their products, which is their undyed. Well, nope, this is the um, yellow ochre. Yeah, this is the, the ochre color, their newer color, which is what happens to the undyed leather over time. So there's this one and then their undyed leather looks like this and wow I already got that's new I haven't seen that before. Yeah I think it's because it's been laying against a darker brown leather product and it kind of transferred a little bit but these are so far the main ones I own from Galen Leather. I do have a green, which uh, a Crazy Horse green color, I think it's called. And I did have a yellow, but I sold that one. The green one I still have, but it's put away. These are the two that I kind of keep out on my desk, in my, like nearby my desk. So I just thought I'd share to give you just an idea of the color. So I have not had a Crazy Horse Brown before and I'm actually, in love with it. It's really pretty 
and I love these balloons and the leather okay so here's like a little bit of a close-up for you the light is changing a little bit because of the color but that's how much variation is in this piece it's actually really cool the feel of this is smooth it's not really furry like some leather materials are or like hairy it's not very hairy it's not uh, smooth like shiny smooth because that's like a different texture it's it's just smooth I guess <laughs> it's hard to explain I have always been kind of unsure about the crazy horse brown and now I am not so much it's kind of hard to, to determine which is the front but um obviously the zipper is going to go on the right side although I'm pretty sure you can have it any which direction you prefer um, the logo is debossed here and I think it has like a coloring to it like a brown reddish brown coloring to the logo and I am thrilled I'm actually really pleased with this I've been holding off on this for a while because I was hoping it would come in this new yellow ochre color I think I, I feel like I'm saying that wrong and I was hoping it would come in that but they only have that on select items and um, zipper is very nice and smooth then you have this velcro portion at the bottom here which I believe oh yeah sorry for that noise my husband is he's working on some things so it shouldn't be too loud but um, there's Velcro here, which is a really unique design um, to kind of keep things in a slim profile, but also make it accessible to pull out when you're opening the case. So this baby is huge. It is the 40 pen case. So you have 10 slots here. You have this nice velvety type of material, which is actually pretty similar to, let's see, this material in your folios for this one. Yes, it's same with this material as well. So you get the flap and then you get this section which holds 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and then you have another flap and section for 10 more slots. I think, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I haven't really figured out a plan in my head yet on how I wanted to organize everything. All I know is that I need more storage because I have a lot of pens that are all over the place and they need a home. That's the plan. I, I'm i not sure if I want to start here and take all my pens out and put them in here and then slowly fill up the other pen cases or if I should devise a plan where I put my least used pens here and then my most used in my smaller cases. So I'm still trying to determine what I wanna do, but this is the newest case and should hopefully, fingers crossed, hold me over for the next couple years. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. I do plan to store this upright like this on my uh, desk here in front of me in this direction. And I will show you what that looks like in, an out, in the outro of the video. But I'm really pleased with this I am absolutely amazed by this leather and I thought I would share with you some of the other leather cases I'm using for pen storage so first off I have this one by Galen Leather it only has six slots and I 
was in a rush this morning so I took out a bunch of pens that I wanted to take with me um, but I normally have this filled up then I have this one this is a Giro Girologio Girologio <laughs> I know I'm saying it wrong but this one I've had for quite some time and actually it's it's developed a slight patina it scratches really easily so you can kind of see those marks here there we go it's also debossed back here and this is a 12 case it's almost like a mini version of the Galen leather and this one has the flap and then six on each side The next one, well, the next few are my Superior Labor cases. Going to zoom out just a little bit, I have the Superior Labor cases which has fountain pens in them. I've actually been using eyeglass cases <laughs> for my fountain pens and they're just like piled on top of each other in here. I have other pens in here as well. I also have my other Superior Labor pouch that has fountain pens. And I have this <laughs> Superior Labor pouch that has fountain pens, which I recently put in this morning. Um, but it does also have just a couple fountain pens in there. And then I even have some off to the side um, in my Franklin Kristoff a uh, little pouch here as well and then I would store a few in this thing like some off to the side um, I think I pulled them all out but this was a place I would store them because that sits right on my desk I have this one which is another Girologio case but I don't think this one is made of real leather I don't think I got this one and this brown one, both from Goulet Pens. And I have two more, let me get them. I have this one, which I also got from Galen Leather. And then I have this one. So this one is, brings us way back to my very first video on my fountain pen collection. They're not filled with fountain pens. It actually has more brush pens and um, fine liner pens in here, but there are a couple that I almost never use that are in here. That's about it. So you could see my storage dilemma and maybe I should have purchase two of those Galen Leather 40 cases, but we'll see how it goes. I do want to still use these. Um, I don't want to use this one anymore because I definitely don't grab it. And I want to be able to put all the other little things in there as well. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to stay tuned to the next video coming soon and you will see that process.